Good morning and happy Diwali or Deepavali, which is a celebration of light. This has happened to me a few times where I've gone to a new location not knowing that it's a national holiday and then I arrive and it turns out there's just a lot of cool decorations around the city and a lot of things are closed. People are off from work and the vibrancy of the city is just really cool. So today we are going to walk around, see some of the decorations. We are also going to go to the Botanical Gardens here, which is the only tropical garden that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so that's pretty cool. Let's get out there. This man made us walk up all these stairs when there was an escalator option. Why? On our way to get nasi lemak. For breakfast, we headed to Adam Food Center near the Botanic Gardens for nasi lemak, which is a Malay dish consisting of rice cooked in coconut milk, served with an egg, roasted peanuts, and anchovies. We got a deep fried chicken and sambal chili paste. We each got a drink. I got the iced cappuccino. They like to use condensed milk that comes in a can. The Singapore Botanic Gardens is located close to the famous shopping street that we will head to next. Singapore Botanic Gardens is the only tropical garden honored as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is completely free to enter. There are approximately 3,000 species of plants in the garden and some animals too. The entire area of the garden is quite large. We managed to walk a decent amount in the 2.5 hours before our feet got tired. We saw quite a few school groups visiting the gardens as well. It is and has been for over 100 years a center for scientific research. Not me running in this heat. It's so beautiful here. It's really quiet and peaceful. A fairly short walk away is the famous Orchard Road where you can come to spend all your money. But first, we went inside the mall to try and find the sky deck. We're trying to get to the sky deck up top so you can get a good view of the city. We got lost, so we're going back into the mall now. Back down to fourth floor, which is the first mall floor. And then we're gonna try to find the correct elevator up. Found it. Inside the mall's top floor, there is a sign for Ion Art where you can take the elevator up to the 55th floor. Up here is a restaurant and a bar area that was closed when we went. You can get a pretty amazing bird's eye view on the walkway leading up to the bar. However, you cannot see Marina Bay. You probably have to go inside the bar to see it. Back downstairs, we wanted to check out the progress on the annual giant Christmas tree. Every year, one of the brands will sponsor the tree. Looks like it's Dior this year. My boyfriend was here when Tiffany sponsored the tree and the entire thing was Tiffany blue. We'll have to wait and see what Dior does this year. Directly across the street from the mall is another more affordable mall. 
Walking down Orchard Street, we have literally seen the same luxury brands about seven times. And then we have a department store here that sells all of them, but in little stalls. And then each of them have like three dedicated full shops every 10 minutes. Before heading back to the hotel, we walk through Arabic Street to check out the cool buildings, street art, and a beautiful mosque. Just got back from another day of a lot of walking. We started out at the Botanical Gardens and then we went to Orchard Street where you can see the same few luxury shops but like seven of them on the same street and then we went to arab street i think that's where we're going to go back to for dinner because it's pretty close to us but going to rest a little bit in the afternoon and then head out for dinner psych it suddenly started pouring outside so we waited for a little break in the thunder and grabbed takeaway one thing to note is that Singapore charges a small fee, around 20 cents for takeaway containers. We got an order of spicy lemongrass chicken with rice and a salted egg chicken with rice and some chilies. Good morning and welcome to day four in Singapore. Today we are going for another walk. My body's kind of feeling it from walking 20,000 plus steps for the last every day we've been here. But to start off, we're gonna head over to brunch, um, breakfast and lunch. It's kind of like 10.30 right now. We're gonna go to a Malay restaurant near Arabic Street that was suggested to us by one of his friends. So should be pretty good. And then after we're gonna go to Fort Canning and walk the park. If this doesn't tell you guys about the humidity here in the mornings, well now you know. <laughs> I will not attempt to pronounce the name of this restaurant, but it is one of the most delicious and simple meals we've had in Singapore. When all of the dishes are on display, the workers will help you grab a small portion of any dish you want and then tally up the total cost for you. We got seven small plates and some rice to share. We got roasted peanuts and anchovies, sambal goreng, extra chilies, curry, beef rendon, eggs, and chicken sambal. That was honestly probably one of our best meals so far. So I think Mark Weens came here and ordered everything off the menu. We didn't do that, although I wish I could, because everything was absolutely delicious. Everything that we got came out to a total of $24. If this was Toronto, it would be probably triple that. We are on our way to do a little hike through a park called Fort Canning. I underestimated how full I would feel after that meal. So we walked for about like 15 to 20 minutes and now I think we need to sit down, grab a drink. So we're kind of just inside a mall. We're gonna probably get a bubble tea and then head over to the park. Cause I don't think I can walk for another two hours without taking a little bit of a rest. Just got a large oolong milk tea with tapioca from Goncha for $4.80. They really be surcharging us in Canada for the same brand, same milk tea. You can actually get a regular milk tea with tapioca for $3.80. I just got like a oolong one, so it was $1 more. Also, I guess it's a thing to sit on these steps and just kind of people watch at the mall. Fort Canning is a hill that has some historical and military significance. Today, it has nine different gardens that people can walk through for free. Fort Canning is a beautiful park to walk in the city. There are plants everywhere. Some parts of the park were under construction when we went.
It is really humid out today and we do have to walk up quite a few sets of stairs before we get to the top where the park starts. Um, we're kind of taking a little detour here. It's a little sitting area. Looks like there's a walkway so instead of taking the stairs up to the top we can walk around the sides. Wow, I am sweating. Look at my face. Just, <laughs> it's really pretty here though. Before exiting the park, we came across a bunch of outdoor exercise machines and games. We walked past the Rainbow Building and headed back to the hotel. Just got back to the hotel. Today was a light day of walking. We walked 15,000 steps only, <laughs> short of our 25,000 from the last three days average. Um, but we still have dinner, so it's only like 4 p.m., 3, 3 p.m. right now? It's only 3 p.m. right now, so we might just hit closer to that 20,000 later today. Our dinner adventures today start at a chapati restaurant where we got a chicken curry and a chickpea curry to go with our chapati. Then we headed to a nearby mall and got a curry puff to go. We also stopped for frozen yogurt because we deserve it after all that walking. She didn't make this one super pretty, but here's a picture of another one we got on a different day. Just went to get some vegetables because I just noticed that we haven't been eating very many vegetables recently. Um, and I know my mom's going to be watching this. Hi mom! We did eat vegetables while we were abroad. We're just going to eat and relax for the evening. I'm really, really tired, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it is day five in Singapore. Today is going to be a chill day. We're actually going to Old Airport Road to eat at the food center there. Every time I go to a new place, I get super excited and I wanna see everything, go everywhere. So for the past few days, each of us have probably walked 100,000 steps and the body is feeling it. So we're gonna take it easy today. Let's head out to the food center. First up is a hot bowl of lor mee. This is a Hokkien noodle dish served with marinated eggs, bean sprouts, pork belly, fish meat, and this signature broth that is a little starchy in texture with a bit of sweet, sour, and spicy flavors. Just got a soursop and dragon fruit drink. It actually tastes really good. So the soursop is this giant green fruit that looks a little bit like durian, but it's not as thick. Um, and then the inside meat, I don't know how to describe it, but um, it is a little bit sweet, a little bit like a pear, but the texture is different. The 
if you eat a lot of this red dragon fruit, your poop will be red. Curry puff. Mmm. The pastry falls apart. So soft, it's a very thin layer. Mm. It's really runny. Back at the hotel, we had a pretty chill day. Like I said, we relaxed, I got some editing done, and then we headed out for dinner. For dinner, we went to two places. First is Beach Road Scissor Cut Curry Rice. As the name suggests, it is their famous curry with meat that are cut using scissors. I was honestly pretty delicious. Then we went to Chinatown because I was craving Chongqing street noodles. We went to the street stall outside the People's Park Food Center and ordered the liang mian, which is literally translates to cold noodles, and suan la fen, which translates to sour and spicy starch noodles. I like to consider myself a connoisseur of both since they were my favorite growing up in Chongqing. The cold noodles had too much vinegar and not enough numbing Sichuan peppercorn oil. I would give it a 6.8 out of 10. It's good but not great. The sour and spicy noodles were better. It wasn't as spicy as I thought it would be so I would give it an 8 out of 10. Final stop on our day of eating is a dessert place near Bugis called Achu Desserts. They had a wide variety of Asian desserts. We ordered a mango sago with yam ice cream and a watermelon honeydew sago with vanilla ice cream. Good morning, we are on our way to breakfast. On today's agenda, we are obviously gonna eat and then we're gonna do our laundry because we are flying out to our next destination soon and I'm running out of clothes. So we're gonna do laundry and then afterwards, we're thinking of going to the zoo in Singapore Singapore, it's one of the biggest zoos in Asia, so that's gonna be super exciting. I'm really hungry, so we're gonna get breakfast, probably get some lunch and snacks along the way. Another day, another hawker center. This was close to our hotel. We started with a Malay platter of different dishes with rice. The restaurant we went to near Arabic Street was better, but this was pretty good also. I got a cafe chino from a drink stall, and then I was really craving laksa. I am allergic to some shellfish like clams and mussels, so I asked him to make the laksa noodles without shellfish. It normally comes with quite a bit of seafood. After a quick stop at our hotel, we headed out to the Singapore Zoo. Most of the buses here have two decks, so we are on the upper deck because we have a long ways to go, about an hour. Our bus ride was about an hour, but it felt pretty quick. It was cool to see some surrounding neighborhoods in Singapore outside the downtown area. Singapore just feels like a well-designed country. Speaking of well-designed, we have arrived at the zoo. But first, I needed to use the washroom, which had this bat colony on the way, and that really expedited the process. The Singapore Zoo has a wide selection of animals from all around the world. The layout of the zoo is sectioned by regions of the world with individual exhibits for certain species. Without going into detail about each animal, because I am not an animal specialist, here is a little highlight reel of the animals we saw.
just in that one just watching. For dinner, we went to a restaurant with some friends and had the fish soup with tofu and veggies inside. The broth was really nice, a little salty for me, but still very consumable. This is a giant tofu dish with fried garlic on top and a sweet sauce. Finally, we got these massive giant shrimps fried with cereal crumbs on top. And that concludes our week in Singapore. The next morning, we just packed up our bags and headed out to the airport, where we did go check out the Rain Vortex, which is the famous waterfall at the Changi Airport. And then we boarded our plane and headed off to where we are now. I'm at a different hotel in a different country, but you guys will find out where I am in the following videos. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't joined us already, hit that subscribe button. I have a lot more golf and travel content for you guys coming up in the next weeks and months and hopefully years. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!